Welcome back to my art channel, boys and girls. I hope you're excited, because I sure am. This week, I have a special surprise for you. My friend, Miss Goldstrom, who teaches down in Tennessee, has asked me if she could do a video for you. So I gave her the lesson that I was planning to do with you this week, and she's going to teach it. Now, after she is done with that lesson, I am going to show you something extra that you can do with the art once you've finished her step. So, without further ado, let's say hello to Miss Goldstrom and get ready for our lesson for the week. Good morning, friends. My name is Miss Rachel, and I teach art in Dixon, Tennessee, which is right outside of Nashville. And today I'm going to help you guys do a fun project. You can do this with stuff you have at your house. So what you're going to need is a Tupperware container, and I'll get to what's in there, that blue stuff. You'll need some food coloring. This will work with paint, but if you don't have paint at your house, it will work just as well with food coloring. You need water, a tablespoon, a straw, and the last thing you will need is dish soap. Now, you do need paper. If you don't have thick watercolor paper or cardstock at your house, computer paper will, will work just fine. Just know that it's gonna be kind of fragile, so you'll wanna let it dry extra long. Okay, so what I have done in this Tupperware bowl, let me um, slide this down here so you can see me. Okay. What I've done is put three tablespoons of water into this Tupperware. I put one drop of food coloring, any color you want, or one drop of paint if you have paint. And then I put one drop of dish soap. Okay, so I stirred it around and got it nice and bubbly with my straw. And now what I'm going to do is I've got my blank paper next to me. I've got a towel handy because it does get a little messy. And so I'm gonna tilt my Tupperware so that all the liquid is in the corner here and I'm gonna blow some bubbles. Remember, you guys, this is dish soap and water, okay? Don't drink it, it's soap. Just blow out, blow bubbles, okay? Here we go. Now, once I've got some good bubbles on here, I'm gonna use my straw and just brush them onto my paper. It is dripping a little bit, that's okay. That'll just be a dark blue spot. Okay, I'm gonna stir it around a little bit more and keep going. Brushing those onto my paper gently because they are bubbles. I'm just using my straw to do that. Now I'm gonna mix this because I think it looks cool with small bubbles too. So if I mix this up really good, it makes some small bubbles and then I can drop some of those small bubbles on my paper as well. You may wanna turn your paper so that it's easier for you to cover the different areas. Okay, so I think I can do this a couple more times with the amount of water I have in here. Now you don't want to get too much on it or too thick of bubbles because your paper will just turn blue. So I'm going to do, just dying that in there, a couple more drops on my blank spots here. Maybe some small bubbles in this final corner. Just getting them to attach to my straw there. Oh, I dropped them. Oh, let's try again. There we go. Okay. Okay, you guys, that's so fun. You're gonna have to let your bubbles sit and dry. It's gonna take a little bit because our paper is super wet. So let me show you the final result. I made one yesterday and it's fully dried. And so you will get a bubble pattern paper. You guys, I hope you have so much fun. Thank you for hanging out with me today and have a wonderful time and a wonderful week doing this. Thank you. Boys and girls, so now that we've finished our project with Miss Goldstrom, I'm going to show you what we can do uh, with the piece that we just finished. But remember, we want to let our piece dry before we go on to this next step because you can't use colored pencils, markers, or crayons on a wet piece of paper. So what I'm going to show you here is uh, I'm drawing 
some random characters, lines, and shapes that I can see through the abstract splotches that the paint made. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, boys and girls. So for this, I'm just using colored pencils, but you can use whatever you like. You can use crayons or markers. Uh, or even a pencil if you'd like, but I'm trying to just match the colors that I'm finding here uh, and also use a complementary color. So the complementary to green is red, and I think that's really going to help some things pop. So you're seeing that in the spots where there wasn't any food coloring paint, I am just sort of tracing those and I'm filling them up with random shapes and patterns. Now you could do this for your entire piece. Uh, there are no rules with this. It is whatever you want to make, whatever you can find in these uh, paintings that you've done that look like something to you, you can go ahead and draw that. So you can see here that I'm going to trace a big shape that is filled with color and I'm going to make that into a little character. And you're going to see a bunch of characters and you can do all characters, all patterns, whatever you want I am sure is just going to be fantastic. So I'm going to sit back and keep drawing and you go ahead and watch me and don't forget to show me what you've made.
that's it for our video this week. I hope you boys and girls had fun. Don't forget to email me a picture. I love it. It's my favorite part, seeing how much fun all of you had. I'll see you later. Bye.